What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I'll be building the mission models contained in bag 16 for the FLL Cargo Connect 2021-2022 game. All you will need is these two bags labeled number 16 right here. This set of bags is very interesting because there are actually not any instructions. You will need to build your own model that in some way represents your solution to the innovation project. However, there are two criteria that this model needs to meet. It must be made of at least two white Lego pieces from these bags, and it must measure at least four studs in at least one direction. Now there are a couple other things to consider. You can get 20 points in the robot game if your innovation project model is touching the Cargo Connect circle. So, you want to make it something that is easy to consistently transport across the field in place, and it wants to be something that does not get in your way for future missions. Now I'm going to go ahead and build a simple model just to show you an example. These are the three pieces that I have chosen to make an example model. They are all 2x4 bricks. These two are classic bricks, and this one is a thin brick. Now just to give a little clarity for those of you who may not know, one of the criteria that you have to meet is that your innovation project model must measure at least four studs in at least one direction. And so when they refer to something as a stud, it's one of these circle things right here. So taking a look at this piece, we have a total of eight studs. So these four right here, and these four right here. So to build my mission model, all I'm gonna do is put these two together and then put this piece right in the middle like this. And this right here would be an acceptable innovation project model that would meet the criteria. Now just to go over them one last time, the first one that I mentioned was that you need to use at least two white Lego pieces from bag 16. Here I have chosen three white pieces from those bags, so I satisfy that criteria. And the other criteria is that it must measure at least four studs in at least one direction. And if you look at it face on just like this, you'll notice that up and down here, we measure four studs and side to side, we also measure four studs. So I also meet that second requirement. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Feel free to check out all our other LEGO videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, follow my Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.